Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Thank you for joining me with this cute little project that I've got coming up. It's so sweet. It's one and a half by one and a half inches or four by four centimetres. Very sweet. Opens and you actually cut, cut and fold it in a different way to usual. And inside little Ferrero Rocher chocolate. Really sweet. You can fit up the things obviously. And one and a half inches is pretty big to, you can fit all sorts in that size. But as I said, it folds and closes in a different way to usual. So you can get two from a sheet of cardstock because this piece measures four and a half by seven and a half inches, which is 12 by 20 centimeters. So no problem at all getting a couple out of a sheet. And with the long side at the top, you score it at one and a half, three, four and a half and six inches, which is four, eight, 12 and 16 centimeters. Turn it round and score it at one and a half and three, which again is four and eight centimetres. Okay, so burnish all your score lines. And when you cut it, normally I say cut up the this way, we're actually going to do something different. We're going to cut it this way. So the first thing you want to do is cut and actually completely remove that outside square and the one that's parallel to it. Okay, so that's the first thing to do. And then you come around to the opposite end and we're going to just cut these ones. So we're not cutting away, we're going to cut. Now, so you can see what we've done there. Okay, so we've got three separate tabs and a single tab there. Now turn it that way round, without cutting that one off accidentally, cut those two remaining sections. Okay. So I'm just going to take a moment to show you. So we've got a section there, and then these ones are loose, these three tabs are loose and those two tabs are loose. So this one at the end is a little bit funny, it kind of goes a bit like that, which is essentially what it does do. Because the box is gonna fold up like that. That section, oopsie daisy, is gonna come around, fold over, fold over, pinch. Okay, so we need to put some adhesive on. So we know we're sticking these parts to there. So put some glue on there. because that's going to come round and you line up the loose edge with the folded edge and the same there as well. These ones are also going to fold up and fold round so it's just that square there so not the loose tab but this one. Oop, just get the glue. So again, fold it up and over. Oops, just wibbled then. Don't wibble. And so this is going to become the front of the box. So I'm going to fold that one in, that one in, and those. You can put a little bit of a bend if you bend with your fingers and you get this nice shape, which will actually naturally form when you put one of our clothes pins on. Close pins, close pegs, doesn't matter, they're the same thing. One of those on there. And then I'm just going to put a little tiny bit of DSP on to finish. I've already pre-cut them. And it's in the Pretty Pepper pack. Measuring one and a quarter inches, three and a half centimetres. Really pretty, it's got this beautiful Pacific point on it. So I love it. And I didn't put these on first because this is a different closure to normal. Um, and it would just would have just been too complicated to explain where to put it. And sometimes it is easier to put your patterns and your papers on after you've closed and sealed and fixed up your box. So oh that was oh I'm so sorry, oh that was a bit off camera. It's me waffling away. Okay, tiny little bit to finish. So I've got my little flower here, itty bitty accents, Pacific point. I'm gonna do two of those, get the end of your paper piercer, squish in the middle, turn one of them upside down because we're going to pick that up with a glue dot 
and put it inside the other but offset ever so slightly and just kind of re-squish in the middle. Basic black candy dot because it's a black dot in the centre of that flower. So we'll get that ready. I've got my linen thread here as well. And it's got two little kinks in it. So if you take the back of your scissors or a bone fold oops, and just gently run it across it, it de-kinks it. So I'm going to take a couple of glue dots up here for me to stick the linen thread to. And that was probably too much, but you know, that's okay. Let's just trim off that bit so it is too much. There we go, another glue dot on the back of this, this little flower. And then that hides all of the previous adhesive. And that is my little cute one and a half inch, four centimetre cubed box. I really hope you like it. Anyway, thank you very much for joining me. I hope to speak to you soon.